Well, it's that time of year again where it's time to replace these dreadful job of doing the headlights and the Kazashi. So I bought this new brand. I'm going to go on LEDs finally. I'll post the link in the description where they at. There we go. Uh, these are the ones I went with. Another guy posted on our Facebook page. I wanted to try them out. I've already did the low beams and the fog lights, and they are absolutely incredible. Uh, they're loud, and they're not very easy to fit in there. That they, they fit perfect. It's just that clip going around that base is a pain. But once you get those in, it, the the light is next to none. I mean, it looks like you're driving around in like a higher end vehicle. It's just so so clean and crisp so here's how we're going to remove the bumper i know i made a video before but i'm going to do this in a much quicker more more detail and precise way than the first video first you're going to start by removing the three 10 millimeter bolts on the top Now, once you remove those three bolts, uh, you do not have to remove these these rubber hood stops. Uh, yeah, it's all fine the way it is. I, I like to jack up the car. That'll give me an extra clearance because I like to use power tools underneath the bumper, but you actually don't really need to. But same on both sides. I've already sort of popped this out, but there's holding holding the bumper onto the side fender is one uh, Phillips head screw, and you got one on each side of the bumper. And you got another one right there on the driver's side. Now we're going to move to underneath the bumper. There's going to be six Phillips head screws you got to remove. Good rule of thumb is look for the silver one. One. Keep moving down the bumper. Two. All right, got two right here in the front. Three. All my scrapes on my bumper. Four. Further one kind of hidden right here. And same thing right back here by that tire. So now we're going to come back up top and remove this plastic piece. Uh, there's a special tool to remove these little plastic rivets, but I don't have it. So Phillips, little tiny Phillips would help. I broke and missing most of mine, so this is going to be a really quick process for me. Now, if you do have all yours, you'll finish taking out the rest. Um, now, the little trick with this is there's a little flap that hangs underneath the side fender, and you just kind of rotate it towards the engine bay and it pops out. There's that little clip right there. Now, once you get the other side done, you just give the bumper a quick little, quick little tug. comes right off. Same thing with the driver's side right off get loose on the bottom now you go up and over these two little yeah they might come out but so after shimmying with both hands you're going to take this bumper off uh, lift it up over the hood latch now both sides of the headlight housing, there's going to be these two clips. You're going to want to remove these before you put the bumper on the ground. You do not want to break anything. But once you get those clips out, the bumper is able to just go free. Now once you have the bumper off and on the ground, this is where you replace your fog lights. These actually, these new LEDs, they work the exact same as the, they're still H11s. So you just push them into the slot and twist them. Connects to the factory connector. So to get the headlight housing out, what you're going to have to do, there is 
five 10 millimeter bolts in this one right here you got one right here and there's kind of a third one hidden in between this black plastic right here now this is kind of a pain because you got the uh, windshield washer fluid reservoir but there's two holding in the bottom of it right here So once you put your five bolts in this very safe place, it's really easy. It just pulls, it just comes right out. Normal bulbs, you can just leave it all together. But unfortunately, since they're such a pain to put in, uh, you are going to have to uh, take the housing completely off. Push in this clip, pull out. Now that's free. This is your high beam, low beam, high beam. I already did this one, so I guess I could show you how it looks like inside here. But I kind of want to pull this out for you. But yeah, that's that's how it looks inside the housing. It's got a cooling fan. Like I said, they are loud, but now to get these in, what you have to do is the the base of the prong where it actually connects to the headlight housing. Remove the one on the left, and then you'll have to. Take the side, wrap it up and around, push it down, and then put it back in. Okay, so I am not actually able to film because you need like four hands to install these things. But uh, same thing with the high beams. The one on the left here, I had to pull it out with a needle nose, seat the bulb in, and then wrap it, pick it up. And you're, it's pretty scary because it's pretty flimsy and you don't want to break it, obviously. But you know, you put it around, you lock it in the top, and then. Take a needle nose and squeeze them back in. And then the rest is just plug, set them in there. So once you get those in there, that's how it'll look. Not very nice, but it works great. Um, H7, H7, H11. And make sure always before putting everything back together, turn on your brights, make sure they're both working, which, wow, they both are working I don't know if you can hear in the video but there is a light humming noise coming from it or a whining noise I should say but they look really good so once you get your five 10 millimeter bolts put back into the headlight housing it's all locked in that's how it should look everything lines up um, I'm gonna cut the video now so I don't have to show you that side because the exact same process but to put this on same thing as taking it off hit the little trick is tilting it putting it up under the body side fender and then everything lines up really nice that's the trick into getting this this on properly one thing I did want to mention uh, I know I had to do this the very first time before I learned the tricks on how to take out these H7 bulbs. But if you need to take it completely away from the car, all this is held on by one of those plastic rivets. You pop that out and you can take the whole housing off the car without removing the front clips or anything. Um, now, with that being said, one thing that I will say is this is a, you can tell which one this is because it's different than any other clip on the car. That's your normal clip plastic rivet I should say here's the difference between the two bulbs and this is what I mean by removing that one side to wrap up and around the base of the new LED bulbs so with my last 30 seconds I have on this video I'll try to show you what I mean by Take another little needle nose and try to put this back into the base. Yeah, which cannot be done while filming. Like I said, you need about four hands for this job. So once you get everything buttoned back up, same thing as the passenger side. Uh, you can hang your bumper on this uh, hood latch. Start working it in the same way you took it off.